In the exercises site I've opened highway.html and I've attached an external style sheet to it, highway.css. At the moment there are no styles inside the style sheet. What I want to do in this lesson is to style the text in the whole of the page to change the font. I also want to increase the size of this top level heading and change the colour of some of the text. I'm going to close split view so that I can concentrate on what's happening in this page here and also close the files panel so I've got more room to work with the CSS designer. So I'm going to select highway.css in the sources pane of CSS designer and then click the plus button at the top of the selectors pane and the selector that I want is body. That will affect everything in the body of the page and it's the font that I want to change so that's in the text category of the properties pane and this is what I need to change font family. If you click alongside font family it opens this menu which shows you a series of font stacks. A font stack is a list of fonts in order of preference. This is the one that I want to use. It's Gil Sans, Gil Sans MT, Myriad Pro, etc. Browsers use the fonts that are available on the local computer. So what this is saying is use Gil Sans if it's available. If not, try the next one along. If that's not available, try the next one and all the way down the line and in the unlikely event that nothing is available it will finally come to this generic font family sans serif so even if you don't get one of your first choices you'll at least get a sans serif font applied so just click that and that immediately changes the font in the whole of the page by default browsers display text in black but pure black on pure white creates a very strong contrast which can be difficult to look at on a computer screen. So what I'm going to do is to open the color picker alongside color. This sets the text color and this opens the color picker. By default it goes to RGBA. Now RGBA is not supported on older browsers so it's a good idea to change that to hex, to hexadecimal which is supported by all browsers. And what I want is a very dark gray just off black so I'm going to move this slider up here until I find a color which is good. The one that I want actually is 202020 and rather than waste all the time I'm just actually going to type that in there. And as you can see that it is, there is pure black, the original color, and it is just slightly off black and it makes a much better contrast in the page. And just click away of course, if I'd known the colour already, which I did, I could have just clicked directly in here and typed the value in directly without opening the colour picker. Next, I want to change the colour of the headings in the page. So I need to create a new selector, and it will be a group selector, h1, h2, h3. So that will affect the top three levels of heading. And I'm going to minimise Dreamweaver for a moment. Eventually this page will be used in part of the case study and what I want to do is to take a colour from the C here for my headings and so if I click inside that colour box make sure that I'm back on hexadecimal and then click this eyedropper tool and as I move the eyedropper tool over Dreamweaver I'll be able to select any particular colour that I want from there. As I move outside of Dreamweaver in the version of Windows that I'm using it turns back into an arrow and it doesn't reflect what's happening inside the color picker but once you click on a particular color it will in fact select it. And there it is, it's chosen that color. Let's maximize Dreamweaver. Now that color is far too pale for my liking so if I open the color picker by clicking that color box again I can then start playing with these sliders and if I move lightness slider down it gets much closer to the type of color that I want. Now I did a lot of experimentation before and the color that I decided on was 57 so I'm just going to type that directly in there. 
Now again, I could have just typed that directly alongside, but I wanted to show you how to use the eyedropper tool to select a colour and then to adjust it within the colour picker itself. And finally, I want to increase the size of this heading and centre it. So a new selector. This time it'll just be H1. And font size. I'm going to open that menu, select PX, and the font size is immediately set to zero, so it looks as though the heading has completely disappeared. But I can start scrubbing by dragging to the right and increasing the number. It doesn't actually show up at the moment in design view. The value that I want to get to is 48 pixels. There we are. And as soon as I select that, the font size changes. And let's just center it by selecting text align and the second icon along, center. So to set the font for the whole page, I created a body rule and set font family to one of the font stacks. And I changed the color to hexadecimal 202020 so that it's not completely pure black, which makes it easier to read on a computer screen. Then I created a group selector for the levels 1, 2 and 3 headings. And I used the eyedropper tool in the color picker to sample a color from an image outside of Dreamweaver and then use the sliders inside the color picker to get a better color for what I wanted. And then I created a style rule for the level 1 heading, set its font size to 48 pixels and text align to center. 